Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the fourth edition of the Bologna Peace Building Forum. Apologize for my voice. I talked too much yesterday, so a little bit, it's a little bit tired. Uh, but the first day was, was really good. And uh, we are really glad to be here for our second day, full day conference together. I'm Bernardo Venturi. I'm the director of the Agency for Peace Building. And I also bring the greetings of uh, Bernardo Mondani, the president of the Agency for Peace Buildings, that unfortunately is sick and he cannot be with, uh, with us today in person. Uh, I would like also to, to greet all uh, the people that are connected online that follow, follow this event in, in streaming from different countries and, uh, and, and continents. So uh, the Agency for Peace Building is uh, an Italian uh, non-governmental organization based here in Bologna and, and work in different countries. Its mission is really focused on, on peace building, conflict prevention, and the peace processes. We work on research and advocacy. We work on training and um, we work on policy making with the policy making. We try to shape the policies in the, sec in the sector. Um, from the Brussels level to the national level and in different countries with our advisor and, uh, and partners in, uh, in Sub-Saharan Africa, in the Middle East and in different uh, world, uh, world areas. So we are extremely glad to be back in person this year. So we had the first edition in 2019 here at the Johns Hopkins at the penthouse. Um, it was in person, and then we had uh, two editions that were just online that worked very well. But it's a great pleasure to be in uh, to be here in person, and um, we we saw yesterday how it's important also to connect and to chat informally within the room. And yesterday morning we had a training with the European Peace Building Liaison Office. We have uh, three colleagues here from Brussels a training for Italian uh, civil society organization on uh, peace building from a Brussels perspective, so from the European Union. And I had the impression that it was extremely useful for, for the Italian NGOs. And then, of course, I want to hear from them. But with there were uh, very many, many questions and a strong interest. And, uh, and uh, I had the impression really that um, that was a process of empowerment to work together, not just at the national level, but also at the European on one. And then in the afternoon, we launched the first uh, report on Italy <clears throat> and peace building. And, uh, and we will continue this discussion in the following weeks um, uh, in Rome and in other cities, also with, with the Italian Minister of Foreign Affairs and other and other stakeholders. Today, the focus uh, is really on conflict prevention. The title of this year is Reimagining Prevention. Um, it's quite weird, let me say, with, with the current uh, war to Ukraine to discuss about prevention, because we have uh, an open war, quite traditional one, unfortunately, in Europe um, and, and other conflicts in other areas that are really, challenging and it's weird, I mean, to a certain point of view to talk about prevention. But we do think that prevention remain the main challenge. So we don't have to focus just on open crisis, but to work on what does it mean prevention. Um, and even then when there are crises, like in Ukraine today, um, it's, it's always important also to think in terms of prevention also to prevent further escalation, for instance. So it's never too late also to work on, on prevention. Um, we saw in our, in our work how, how it's important. We work, for instance, on, on preventing po post-electoral violence in Zanzibar, in Tanzania. Uh, it's, not, it's not a famous conflict, it's not uh, in, 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 in the newspaper, um, but prevention work there. And I mean, it's limited the violence in the past, and there's a lot of projects going on for the future. So there are different ways to work on that. Um, we work on preventing violent extremism in different areas. 
And that's another area where we're preventing and preventing approach is extremely important. We, we see how just reacting to jihadism and to terrorism is, is not a solution. We see that in the Sahel, for instance, and how it's important also to, to prevent and to educate before. Um, so that's really what we will focus today. We have, uh, I think, a very interesting uh, program. We will start with the first panel just after the greeting this morning. And, uh, and after the, the lunch, we will have the, the second panel. We try to combine both scholars and practitioners in each, in each panel so they can dialogue together. And, uh, and please bear in mind, this is a forum. So it's really open to Q&A and comments and to open discussion. So we will not have uh, uh, thousands of panelists just to leave space for, for your question, for your comments and for your contribution. We will also have an event report that will take stock of, of the main points that we discussed and we will be publishing in, uh, in, a few, in a few weeks. And finally, today we will have a keynote exchange with uh, Bert Kenders, that is a former Dutch Minister for Foreign Affairs. He also uh, was in charge of a couple of uh, peacekeeping, UN peacekeeping mission and several other international responsibilities. So he will bring his perspective. We already met him yesterday, and I can assure that would be would be very interesting and stimulating for for the debate. Um, he will be in dialogue with uh, Hannah Roberts from Politico, that is an Italian correspondent for for Politico.eu, based in Rome. She will join us uh, for for that session. So it's a, really a grand finale. I do invite you all of you to stay uh, till then. Having said that, let me let me thank you and all, all our, our our partners and and friends. First of all, the Johns Hopkins University for for hosting us today in in, uh, in this wonderful uh, campus, and then the municipality of Bologna, um, our our partner. Yesterday, we were at Palazzo da Curzio in in the wonderful uh, Salantiani. And uh, thanks to Assessora Boni for, for her availability yesterday and today. And we really appreciate. And um, we would like also to thank um, uh, all the other partners, the, the Rotary Club, that is contributed Bologna, Rotary Club Bologna Ovest with uh, Claudio Pesci and, her, and for the support, Prometea and the University of Bologna and all, uh, all our, our partners. Um, let me conclude uh, with uh, with uh, a great uh, thanks um, to to the all the uh, APs team. So Stefano, Daphne, Michael, uh, Maria Grazia, and uh, and also our volunteers from the Johns Hopkins, Dalia, Michael, and and Hannah. Without them, that would be not uh, would be not possible. They worked so hard uh, in uh, in the last months, and I really thanks and. Uh, and great to have such a great, uh, such a great team. So, without further ado, I, I give the floor to Assessora Boni for her greetings. Okay. Okay. 